Welcome everybody to NASA Super Week here on twitch.tv slash Vaudible. I'm Surplus. I'm here with the one and only Lumos. Uh, Lumos, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing really great. Just had a great rank stream going exactly three and three. Perfect use of my time. Beautiful. And now we get to watch the lovely games of NASA. Absolutely. I can't wait. This is my uh, actually my NASA debut. I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, do you have any advice for me? I've got I've got notes here. I should probably take some notes while we're waiting on uh, these games to start. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, you uh -huh. won't need that notepad. Oh, OK. That's that's note number one. Write it down. Gotcha. It, it's gone. You, you, it's it's right, gone. You, See you later. You're supposed to write it down. All right. Anyways, I'll write note it on number my hand. two. Uh -huh. um, always expect it to be great. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Note number three, the rosters are always different just for fun. Don't worry about it. Beautiful. Okay, good. Well, I do, speaking of these rosters, I do need to grab these notes because I do have all of the rosters for each team, this, all the teams that we're going to be seeing tonight. It's going to be a great one. Uh, I believe we're starting out with Bozo Bunch versus Platinum Exclusive. Both these teams are two and one. Bozo Bunch losing 2-1 to PP Legends in the past few weeks and Platinum Exclusive also at 2-1, losing, losing to LP Thieves. So one of these teams will stay at one loss. One of these teams will going at 500. Um, what what do you think about these two teams, what their lineups are looking like, Lumost? Uh, yeah, it's a very interesting lineups. Uh, we've watched them a bit throughout the season. Platinum exclusive with people like It's a Pineapple, Pan Pended, Luna Goalie, Ken Clam the Goat, Zay Forever as a sub, but usually does get some play, Drew as well. They have a large and actually deep roster. Mm -hmm. You don't really know who they're playing, but it's usually someone good. Absolutely. I see here that they have five subs on this roster. You've got a Zay Forever, Drew, Vaga, I think Vaga Lol, I want to say. Vaga Lol, Etier, and Cobbs. By the way, Etier, shout out Etier, one of my good friends there. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, this is a huge, large lineup. But uh, on the other side, you got on Bozo Bunch's side, their, their lineup is Fem Bison, Muncher, Dropletto, with their subs, a Bosher, Forgot, Numbat and Molly Moneth. By the way, shout out Molly, shout out Fem Bison. You just you get to know everybody here in the Omega Strikers community. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, we're really nice, tight community. And even down in tier two, you still know the names, you still recognize them in ranked. Caring your games or throwing them really depends on the day, but uh <laughs> we'll have to see how they do in this game. Absolutely. Uh, let's see if this game is all ready to go just yet. And we're calling it your game. Boom. We're on Imi's app. Just like that. Beautiful stuff. Looks like here on the blue side, we've got Bozo Bunch, Drop, Leto, Fem Bison, and I on this side. And then we'll see who Platinum Exclusives is in a moment. Uh, looks like they're banning the Julie out here. What, do you, what would you ban here? Well, um, of course, there's the Rasmus ban. I think really is also a respectable ban if you're more confident in the Rasmus, which it looks like this side is. And there's a no ban on the opposite side. Oh, what my chads. Goodness. Holy wow. chad. So they're ready for whatever is going to be thrown at them. Platinum exclusive looking very tough at the moment. Let's see what Drop Leto grabs here. Looking like it's going to be the Rasmus. I mean, it makes sense. You're on Imi's app. You're going to want to go fishing. And boom, there you go. There's the mirror. Yeah, Double Rasmus coming out pretty common in this Amy Zap map. But we'll have to see what the midfielders are. They're looking like they're going for the side of, I mean, with an era mm -hmm. on this side, which is very Ooh, interesting. Okay, Luna pick there. Looks like a, po possibly a, go a goalie Luna, I want to say. Fem Bison on the Kai there for the goalie. I going for the era. And Judo coming Juno. out. Okay. Judo, Luna, Rasmus. What a comp of old time from the side of Platinum Exclusive. Holy. It Beautiful will be so, Eater yeah. actually playing on the Judo. Eater is playing. You got it. Uh, it is a pineapple and boom on the side of Platinum Exclusive. This is going to be a fun matchup. I can't wait to see this. Here we are. Welcome to NASA week four. Indeed, and Bozo Bunch here, they get a goal gate really early. Etier is low in the midfield. They want to find some damage, but they still haven't got level 2 lit. That's really where the Rasmus has come to shine, but it looks like Boom is actually the goalie here as Pineapple is playing a lot more forward on this Luna. Absolutely. Both goals are open as we were seeing Boom looking to try and keep this core out, but it's not going to be enough. I on the era grabbing the first goal of the game for the Bozo Bunch. Yeah, this is a very interesting Rasmus goalie pick. It's honestly not that bad of a pick on the Amy Zap. You still get the power of the death touch in the midfield, but you don't sacrifice any forward pressure. But when you're running something like a Luna, 
with oh. it. It makes it a little awkward, but here they're gonna kill early. Now they need to punish with this Luna, with this Juno, but Juno, he gets taken out by the Death Touch from Dropletto, and now it's a 2v2. 2v2, both power plays on the field here. Era coming back, Juno back in two seconds. And it's going to be an even fight looking like that. So it looks like that. It didn't really work out. That's okay, though. I, with that Maelstrom coming out here, great saves here from Boom. Dropletto calling for this core as that goal barrier goes down. It's a double goal barrier down situation. Fem Bison looking to try to pass this to Dropletto, but the core flip comes out from It's a Pineapple. A great save there. Grady Maker coming out as well. This looks like it's going to be a bit of a strike war coming out right now here, Lumost. Yeah, he's hit of just trying to get this cleared, but it's not enough. The Luna does not have a jack button. E tier gets killed again by the Death Touch, and Bozo Bunch are 2 0 in the set. Bozo Bunch looking really good right now, and I'd uh, love to see these starting awakenings if we could. I would really see if they are there, really slaying it through at the moment. As, as this goal barrier goes down. So Platinum Exclusive needs to keep this away to have a shot at some advantage. Oh my goodness, what a Maelstrom. Getting it's a Pineapple super low, and there goes the KO! And oh. drop Leto, a double KO for the Rasmus. It is a three-on-one disaster, and Bozo Bunch takes the first set 3-0. Yeah, Bozo Bunch has just been able to find those death touches onto E tier. E tier is just not able to dodge him. It turns into a 1v3 at the end of the day, and Bozo Bunch get a pretty good advantage in this first awakening draft. With Catalyst up, it's very important to get this Catalyst early, get that energy stacking. Absolutely got the Catalyst first dibs here. So Rasmus grabs the prize fighter for Pat Platinum Exclusive. Yeah, a little more power. It does Tad a more, super surge angle. That's very interesting. Not horrible. Spark of strength gives some scaling, mm -hmm. but Luna does mm -hmm. get missile propulsion. One two punch is actually very powerful on Juno. It makes the slimes kind of hit a lot for some reason. We don't under we don't really want to understand it, but Juno's just really good with a lot of power on the slimes. Build as much chaos as All possible. Alright, heavy impact and sparks on the first draft as well. Those are your starter awakenings. And uh, it looks like they're just trying to build a little bit more spark. I do like how they brought back the sparks here, give a little bit more of that fun there. But it looks like, at the moment, Platinum Exclusive is not using these awakenings to their advantage as a goal comes in for Dropletto. Yeah, Dropletto just easily able to slot that in. And it's just insane how much more powerful Bozo Bunch seems. Like, Eater and Pineapple are not able to do basically anything in the midfield. They're not able to get it through. And I is literally just walking on them. Gets a goal gate, flips, good pass. Dropletto was not ready for the strike. But he just finds oh. the death touch. It's a 2v3 now. And Bozo Bunch are looking to just take another goal. Good pass to I finds it. And they're one goal off a set again. And we're starting to see a bit of a level disparity here. You're already seeing Dropletto and I at level four, Ether, and it's a pineapple at level two. You don't want your forwards being at two levels behind the competition because now it's just gonna be that much easier to get them out of the arena. Now, the, what is out of the arena is the core. <laughs> I was about to say the core, the shield barrier in the front of that goal, but no, another goal coming out for Dropletto. Yeah, that was literally like a 20 second set. I've seen, I've seen versus AI speedruns go faster than that one. Yeah, I was about but, to ask, is this an AI speedrun? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's on pace for world record. But <laughs> at this point, again, it's another good awakening draft with Deadeye for the Razzis. Makes that death touch even more death touch here, question mark. And this quick strikes is going to be quick denied strike, from yep. the era, but he still gets chrono boost. Like, Chrono Boost, a really good pick here, too. Absolutely. Aerials on the Juno. You got Spark of Focus on the Kai. Luna grabbing the Twin Drive. Makes sense. But you also had Fire Up stacks on stacks there. Very solid, solid draft here. I mean, it, you couldn't really go wrong with any of these picks. Yeah, but now Fem Bison has three Sparks. What? Oh, man. Uh, you, you let Kai get three Sparks. He literally has so much CDR, so much, I believe, Stagger and Bower. It's just a little insane that... They've lost so much, despite Kai not even being the first pick, and it looks like they're going to get a goal gate here. E tier is going to try to buy them some time, but drop Leto, almost gets the goal. Boom has the clear, Pineapple gets the... Barely doesn't get the goal gate oh. on the other side, but drop Leto gets a kill, and Ben oh, gets no. a kill again. Those Gigas kill from such a long range with all that extra power, and the NATO plus the Barrage will secure the first goal. 
Fem Bison with all these sparks and this roster uh, for Bozo Bunch, Bunch being straight gas is just a horrible combination. Uh, you're seeing that happen uh, at the moment as the, this roster is exploding with this offensive capability. You're already seeing the shield barrier going down. It's Pineapple trying to get in the middle of the mix of things, but already super low. Drop Leto one point away from taking this first game. I feel like no round has gone longer than 15 seconds. Bozo Bunch just want this game done quick. This is looking like a nine minute or as Bozo are on match point for this first game. What do you bet one of them has like a doctor's appointment they need to, they need to get to with at around like maybe 745. You know, <laughs> and, they, they need to get there. They need to go get to the doctors. Oh, great save by Boom though. I got to give him that amazing save there with that hook using that ultimate uh, two perfection there. E tier trying to get a goal barrier in, but it's a 3v1 situation. Good flip there, and another great save by Boom. Yeah, Boom's holding it down. e tier finally gets the goal gate, but Fembison has the flip and can walk up with it. Junar comes down to 9 oh! and actually secures Platinum Exclusive their first goal. There you go, Platinum Exclusive. Shout out e tier getting that first goal on that Juno. The Blobo is helping out a ton here, but hey, it's still a huge uphill battle, and it's not looking great for Platinum Exclusive. The rank disparity is still there. Look at the levels. It's 3v5s, and I think it's just a matter of time here, Lumos. Yeah, I mean, they need one more goal. They're trying to have some pressure here, but it's Pineapple gets an opportunity. Fembison, good clear, and the death touch from Boom actually finds oh. the kill. It's now a 2v3. They got gold eggs down. I has the flip, buys some time, gets a goalie on the opposite side. Now Pineapple and Etio, they need to pass to each other. Etio can't control it. I, nice strikes, get it forward. Etio with a dash wow. strike, and Pineapple with a dash strike of his own. It's a Magol and Platinum Exclusive are coming back in this set. They just need one more to stop this from being a sweep. Can they do it? This is the real question here. You're seeing the ranks start to slip away as well. Again, this level disparity is going insane. I is at level six. E tier and it's a pineapple only at level three. You're seeing that the entire Bozo Bunch roster coming up. Oh, what a lucky shot there. The strike does not get the goal barrier down. Drop Leto super duper low though. Only on a wisp of health here. The stagger going a little Ooh. too low. Goal barrier goes down. So it's only a matter of time here. It's a pineapple with the flip though. And E tier coming up as well. It looks like they need to secure this goal here. But I making the flank going up. Good flip there by Boom, though. And man, yeah, this is just a huge strike war, isn't it? Yeah, E can use the flip as well, so they're lacking that ability to score. They do lose a goal. Oh, no! And Fem Bison a little overextended. Platinum Exclusive actually have a shot in what looks like a nine minute game. They bring us to a step five. Set Absolutely. Four. Set for Boom, the MVP here. We're still going to be hearing this Rasmus soundtrack, but instead of being in second place, Boom is now in first and has first dibs at these awakenings. You got Primetime, Big Fish, Bulk Up, Monumentalist might be a good pick here too for either of these Rasmai, but Spark of Agility going to Boom here. Yeah, really important to deny the fourth Spark, and the specialized shooting gets to the winner. Honestly, the guy probably should have taken that. Error will grab the Monumentalist over the Primetime. Hotshot is still up. You're going to take Primetime and Rat. Rasmus as the last pick got yes. eyes awakening. What is these what are these drafts, guys? Come on. I, I know Prime is important, but like you let Drop Leto get size as last pick. Like, I'm not opposed to the big fish pick, of course, but why not take Monumentalist there? It doesn't make any sense. It's okay though, it's fine. They just need to claw their way back up and they have a shot of doing it. Now look at the era maelstrom. Absolute huge maelstrom tornadoes here. And oh no, see you later. There goes the Luna for Platinum Exclusive. The goal barrier is down. And it looks like Bozo Munch needs to try to keep E tier at bay and get this goal so that they can rehash their dominance in this set. Yeah, they need to get something here, but E tier has a bit of extra range and is finding a lot of angles with his blobs. He's finding a lot of players, but he's not finding any goals. Now, I and Drop Leto are trying to coordinate to get a goal, but the slime minefield comes down by some time. Ben Bison walking a little forward, trying to get it forward to his double forwards. Core flip comes out from Boom. Good deny from Drop Leto. He can't score it yet, though, but he kills Pineapple with oh. the pendulum swing. Now, they just need to get it forward. E-Tier is holding the midfield. Just keeps on holding the midfield. Almost has a flip up. Now, Boom, 1v1, gets to clear with the pendulum swing. Back up to I. It's Drop Leto. Oh. Death touch clears it, and Drop Leto gets a kill with the death touch on his own. And now, he's got to get it forward in the 2v3. I trying to get it forward. But again, great saves. Ben Bison oh. forced a flip, barely didn't score it. 
is a pineapple wants that back in a good yep. angle for my sends it in. I mean, I could get, I gotta give Boom some credit there. Did you see that hook into the core to take it away from that goal? Amazing stuff there, but it just wasn't enough. Two goals away for Bozo Bunch again to be on the precipice of winning this first game, but I don't think Platinum Exclusive is going to be letting their foot off the pedal anytime soon. The Blabo's coming out, not enough to get this goal barrier. Drop Leto going way forward, trying to stagger E tier, trying to grab some of this shield off them Bison with the deflect here, and the shield barrier is gone for Platinum Exclusive. So, Bozo Bunch needs to get it in here. Drop Leto up to I into the corner pocket, and they're one away. Yeah, clean pass, punishing the triple stack from Platinum Exclusive, gets the second goal. I mean, Fem Bison is walking very aggressively up here, but they're keeping it forward while he's doing it, and that's really all that matters. You're basically running three forwards at that time with the eject button. It's a little powerful in the Garen meta. So Fem Bison is using it well, but he is going to lose the goal gate here to Pineapple. Drop Leto needs to answer back soon. Boom, able to get it clear. Blood's going to make it awkward. Slime. Uh-oh. Ooh, yep. great combo. It's a Pineapple and E-tier just... Right there, hit a dash, I mean, hit a strike away from Ben Bison, and they at least get a point in this set. The combination of the Luna and the Juno here is really helping them out. If there was any other forward on any other forward character here, it would not be working out, but there goes the era. So, looks like I is out of contention for at least now, and so is Drop Leto potentially. The goal barrier is down. Boom, with the flip at the ready, and each year taps it in, and it's another tie. Chat, we might be having a bit of a comeback story brewing. Yeah, a bit of a comeback, but it's back to point five in another set. Bozo Bunch want to close this out. They need to close this out, because if you go to a fifth set after being up that dominantly, it's going to feel bad, and just the mental advantage at that point is a lot, but E-Tier can't get anything. Boom has the flip, and Pineapple finds the kill just with a small rocket. Ben Bison has the flip to defend. E-Tier can't get it forward. He can blast by some Ooh, time. Oh, good flip. Flip comes out, but it doesn't find much. Only buys a little time. Two seconds on the Razen. Strap Leto respawns. Pineapple not able to get the goal gate. E tier. And boom. Have the flip. That touch our trade. Oh my goodness. Rasmus goes down and Juno goes down. But I need to get this goal gate. Well, boom has the flip. Both teams at a power play ability right now. Both players coming back in two seconds. Not a whole lot of front was made here, but looks like that they will still grab this goal barrier. Ooh. Oh, what a save by Boom. And it's a pineapple, but the, the Maelstrom comes in. <laughs> it's a slow puck. Goal is free, and Bozo Bunch grabs the first game, 3-1. What an ending. Bozo Bunch find two kills with two different R's in the span of five seconds and just secure the last goal they needed. Absolutely. I'm taking notes really quick. I'm so sorry for that bit <laughs> of a pause there, but let's take a quick look at the stats here. And oh my goodness, the entirety of Bozo Bunch 5 plus 2, 5 plus 4 on Drop Leto and I. One goal for Fem Bison, which is great uh, for the goalie there. Um, and oh my goodness, 21,000 damage for Drop Leto. Drop Leto was just slaying folks left and right. Yeah, 11 KOs with those death touches, just finding the gills that really mattered and getting them to that advantage. I mean, it looked a little a little close there at the end, but they're able to find it in the fourth set. Not even close. 3 to 1 victory for the side of the. Uh, Bozo, I uh, don't no, platinum. It's, you know, uh, Bozo, <laughs> Bozo Bunch. Bunch. It's Bozo okay. Bunch. You got it. You got it. It's okay. Yeah. It's all good. You're all good, Lumos. It's all good. Well, let's just see. Uh, they're up 1-0 in this set right now. Again, this is a best of three series. So let's see if they make any switches, any roster adjustments, anything like that. Um, and we'll just see as soon as we get into a game here. Um, I mean, that first match on Imi's app was just brutal. Uh, for Platinum exclusive there. It just was so hard to see them get not just get off the runway. Yeah, honestly, I, I think E tier needs to be subbed out for probably Zay. Like, no no offense, but uh Platinum exclusive roster is pretty deep, but if they have enough scheduling issues that they have to run E tier Buen Pineapple, it's a little bit of, of an issue. It's not their strongest roster and Having Pineapple not in goal was a very interesting pickoff, and I just yes. don't think they looked comfortable in that game. Now, we got into this next game on Atlas Labs really close, and uh, Platinum Exclusive did not ban anybody either. So let's see if they can ban somebody here at least. There you go. You got the X gone, so Drop Leto's X is out. The Juno being banned for Bozo Bunch, which makes sense. E tier was doing great work on that Juno, getting the only two goals for, uh, sorry, not only two goals, the, the majority of the goals last game on Aimee's app. So it looks, looks like we got an era already. I on the Octavia, Fem Bison grabbing the Kai goalie yet again. 
this see what has, is picked here. This has to be a CTL or um, Chrono Boost start if there's an Octavia in this first uh, in the draft. Honestly, Octavia usually isn't picked unless you have one of those two Awakenings in the starting Awakenings. On the opposite side, they're running Pineapple again in the midfield. Like he's not a bad yep. player, but I just don't think he should be in the midfield right now. I don't know. It looks like Pineapple has a lot to prove at the moment. And boom on the Dubu. Show me them paws, boom. I mean, I'm loving, I'm loving the Dubu picks more and more often. Uh, have you seen a lot more Dubu forwards in your games than most? I'm a big fan of Dubu forward, but unfortunately, I haven't seen enough of them in my games. And it actually is a Dubu forward. They put it is a Dubu forward. back in the net. Now, this is something I like. It's not the best idea. It's a little bit of cooking. It is a CTL start, as I said, with that Octavia coming in. So that will be an issue if they keep on hitting it too high. But boom, he has to prove that this uh, Dubu board is a pick. I think it's good, but it's gonna take a lot of, a lot of things to go right for this pick to work out. Absolutely, two gold barriers already down on either side of the map, or total in the map as of right now. Both these top ones are gone. So now Platinum Exclusive has the open goal, but so does Bozo Bunch. It, it, both goals are now open. Pot, uh, pineapple, sorry, Platinum Exclusive's Pineapple, uh, grabbing this core flip at the moment. E tier, Ooh. trying to clear this as much as possible at the moment. Fem Bison getting harassed by Pineapple and he splits the ankles there. Wow, what a goal. That's why you want Pineapple in the net. He's able to do that and still dash back. And it's on a 30% re reduced cooldown because the Jekyll is so balanced. It's fine and exclusive. Do look much more alive running this set of uh, players in their correct positions, one might say. As I does get a lot of damage in with that R and gets the first goal gate. But boom, with this Tofu Fortress with spawns, a lot of R's get dropped on Fan oh Bison. Goodness. He only takes half his health, though, and he only loses one goal gate. The only, if you saw how long that goal gate took to go down with that with the tofu there, it was a, quite a while. So it's a very interesting play, very interesting stuff to see here. Boom, really super low, hanging out by the other end. Oh my goodness, Trapletto almost gets the hook and gets the drop on him, but doesn't work out. Boom, will live to see another day fully healed up. Yeah, fully healed up and now I looking for the kill, but it's elusive the way. Pineapple has the flip defensively. Black Hole respawns. It's going to make things a little awkward. They're just buying for, for some time, but Ichi is going to respawn, and boom. They have an angle to get the goal gate. Flip from Pineapple secures a good angle, and boom, oh, gets a, a kill with the Tofu Fortress. It's a 2v3. I wants to get this forward. He almost has the flip. He wants to just win against Luna and the Strike Wars. Gets a goal gate. Doesn't have the flip. Now, everyone's dashing forward, but they can't coordinate to get the core there as Drop Blood respawns. I has the core flip, pops it, has an Ooh. angle, but Boom clears. Boom almost has the flip of his own. e -tier trying to get forward. Drop Blood can't win that strike war. Now, Boom hitting it forward, has the flip. Bashing from Pineapple. Oh. Uh, I don't know what just happened there. Don't know what just happened Leto there either. Now in a 1v1. Can't hit it. I just Drop Blood needs to hit it. Yep, there it is. There it goes. All right. It's a 1 1. Yeah, I think Chad is also noticing uh, how how weird that was there for the Octavia to not make a connection with that core there. Yeah, it was a little weird, but eventually I was able to hit it back, and Pineapple just didn't have the opportunity to save there. Jeff Leto able to hit it in finally, but now Boom still has the flip from the round before. Pineapple tries to get it forward, but great death touch from Jeff Leto opens the net. Good stuff here. Look at the offensive Tofu as well. It doesn't really help when the core gets behind the Tofu, but that's okay. That's totally fine. Dropletto, though. I and Dropletto both have an open net here. It, boom, grabs the core flip here. It's Pineapple also has the core flip and will utilize it to grab the other core from the other side. And oh my gosh, what it just happened? It's a Pineapple, grab the gate. It bounced off the black hole right into the goal. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Pineapple is single-handedly keeping Blind Exclusive in the set, scoring both of their goals and honestly making a big of a difference in the goal arc, where he should be back in the arc, making those dash plays as the Black Hole <laughs> gets exploded and everyone takes half their health bar. Etier is now looking for a Fem Bison, forced to flip, clears it, gets a goal gate, and I gets the oh. second, but he oh. is going to be killed for it. Oh man, both goals are open at the moment. You've got a, oh my goodness, what a core flip there. And E-Tier grabs the first set for Platinum Exclusive. They're up 1-0 so far. Yeah, Platinum Exclusive finally able to take a set. Well, the first set in this game, they didn't take one last game, but Chrono Boost is up. If this Luna does not take Chrono Boost, it is a ginormous mistake. And I don't know if Platinum Exclusive can win the game anymore. It's that important. It looks like they will deny it. Very yep. important deny. They do get Aerials, which does increase their dash speed, but not their length. Good Aerials pick there. Missile prop going to the Kai. Stagger Swagger on the Dubu. 
Let's see what E-Tier will pick. Monumentalist, that will make those tornadoes and, uh, sorry, the, the tornadoes huger and bigger. The Spark Resilience going to drop Lido. So it's going to be an interesting setup here. As you can see, we got uh, we got Castellast and uh, Quick Strike here at the beginning, as our beginning awakenings. And I just, I think I'm going to see more of E-Tier's just uh, cre creation just become way bigger. That is, if he stays alive, E-Tier super duper low at the moment on the stagger. So is I, and they're gonna, there's going to be a bit of a brawl here in the middle of the, mat uh, of the match of the arena. Drop Leto gra grabbing and juking away. Gets one goal barrier down. It's a pineapple. We'll eject off of the top side, but Drop Leto still is the one-man show here. Grabs the second one with the core flip as well. Crater Maker comes out and halves Drop Leto's health. Both goal barriers are down now. Boom, almost grabs one, but I, with the miraculous save there, Great Octavia footwork. Eats here. Grabs this one. Going, go, It's going back and forth. It's a lot like the US Open at the moment, but call me Coco. Pineapple grabbing and throwing it onto the other side of the court. Boom, look at that amazing tofu wall as well. I think each here might have a shot here. Good ejects from both sides here. We are in overtime as each here grabs the first goal. Yeah, boom, just each here and boom are just playing on that line and they're passing it when they overcommit. Bozo Bunch are committing two down just for the clear and they're not able to get it through. As Lion Exclusive do get another goal. I mean, Dropletto is getting these goals. It's getting exactly what he needs, but it's just not enough. I need to have a little more presence in this midfield to get it for fast, but fast this era, as fast as Dubu Ford, as Dropletto does get a goal gate, has the flip for the second, will flip for the second, but Boom has the flip. Pineapple tries to get it clear, but can't. And the pendulum nice. swing gives Bozo a bunch of goal. I mean, this is super back and forth so far here, Lumos. I mean, I don't know how any of these teams are going to get a edge ahead but it looks like looking at the core flips right now boom is the only one to have one so far on this forward dubu i with the core at the moment fem bison and it's here get into a bit of a strike war boom using the core flip doesn't work it's a pineapple can't save this one goal barrier the uh, crater maker comes out the rockets as well and the core flip comes out from it's a pineapple immediately ejected oh my goodness but what a lucky bounce on the outside not enough though the core barrier the goal barrier is already up and it's making it work at the moment and with that huge ko there drop Lido and i doing some moves and they're up to one I have scaled. They got the Arialis to increase their dash speed and it's just a little too powerful with that CTL. Just able to basically walk it in with the ult. And almost as Gordlip is e tier, gets halved up by the Black Hole. Pineapple does get one goal gate. I pops the core flip, gets traded. Both goal gates actually get uh, eventually for the side of Bozo Bunch and then Bison needs to clear. Ready Maker comes out, doesn't find much, but e tier actually nice. gets the goal gate eventually. Now, boom, needs to pass down. Pineapple gets it cleared. Patch up Leto. The Fortress. Stopping the top angle. Now I just, he's too fast. There we go. Because Arialis finds the goal again. Bozo Bunch gets the tying set up and could potentially end it right here in the series in the next two games. But drop let out the MVP of that set. Let's see what he takes here. You got all Ooh. sorts of sparks. Three sparks in total out here. See if there might be a sparks build coming up pretty soon for drop let out. Yeah, Dropletto, I believe, did take the uh, Spark of Resilience, so he will be two Spark, but that means everyone else will be only one Spark, as all three Sparks are in this. Rapid Fire goes over to the Octavia. Extra Special is very important. We'll see who grabs mm -hmm. it. Kai will get it. One, two on it. the Dubu. He's going for those KOs, those Dash Tofu Fortress combos to get those KOs. We'll see if it actually will pan out in this game. Let's see if it pans out. This very interesting setup for Boom on the Dubu. I, I'm excited. I, I, I'm ready to see what he can do with this forward dubu, especially on this level five. Vocal barriers already down. Thank you for the tofu wall as well. The log coming out, but drop Leto and I making quick work of these goal barriers as well and making a quick work of the round. It's pretty hard to say that when you have a Rasmus and an Octavia just walking on top of you as a Luna, you have nothing in the melee. And with that many strikes, those a bunch are able to get a goal again. Is getting this extra speed from the Arias has been so important for I to get value out of the Octavia. Boom, did get two really good goal gates, and he does again as a Maelstrom actually finds Drop Leto. But I, on the return, gets one goal gate, trying to find the second. Still has the dash up, gets the second. Pineapple and E2, they'll have flip. One second on Drop Leto. I is winning the strike. Yep. Flip comes up from Pineapple, not able to actually clear it. I zones E tier. Flip is forced to flip to actually keep it. 
not that dangerous. And now I again, he still has the speed. He's still dangerous. But Boom has the core flip. They try to get it forward to him. Tofu Fortress won't find the kill, but Pineapple dashes nice. in and wins the strike war. Pineapple doing great work here as the goalie on level seven. And you're not seeing that that level disparity that you were seeing in the last game. You're not seeing one team just take it and run with it now. You're seeing a lot more of these strike wars come to fruition. Seeing a lot more of this defensive play from both It's a Pineapple and Fem Fem Bison. Sorry, I had a burp there. My bad. Had Costco pizza for dinner there. Uh, but I mean, oh my goodness, what a great game so far. Here comes the Maelstrom out from E tier. Two goal barriers down total in the matchup, each with one remaining. Dropletto is not going to try to make this work, Ooh. especially with Pineapple out of position. But oh my goodness, how did they get out of that? Oh, I, wow. What a save. I mean, but Octavia is scaling. They're getting more and more speed. They can basically walk the entire map, even with while being slow. They're just keep on finding these strikes, keep on stacking that speed up. Will almost get this goal gate. Just finally Dropletto finds it. But boom, again, dash. Tofu Fortress finds a kill. E tier is staggered. Dropletto wants to find an angle. Dribbling as an angle. Oh. Flem Bison gets the kill with the Giga. Dropletto whiffs his core flip, but I is back up. The death touch, a little waste by I's primary, but I has a chance to score and he does. Good timing as Pineapple flies it by and Bozo Bunch score a goal. I really like how both these teams just hate the concept of overtimes. They're not doing it. They're just not going to have it. It's going to be a minute. A goal is going to happen. That's all that's going to, that's all, that's all she wrote. That's pretty much it. Uh, I love, I love how that's happening right now, but look at boom, taking his talents to South beach, grabbing one goal barrier, but it's not enough. Drop Leto is a force to be reckoned with grabbing another goal barrier. I on the Octavia getting some damage in trying to use the acceleration and the uh, juggling here it's a pineapple grabs the core flip and the rocket and grabs that goal open now so platinum exclusive can tie up the series here but it's Ooh, not oh, no play. what a play there from the octavia completely shutting them down and boom and each have to play goalie now and they can't go in and try to grab this for another second it's just too late though drop leto knocks it in and bozo bunch is up 2-1 in the series yeah great Hit from I uh, into the black hole, finds Drop Leto, and Drop Leto just able to win the 1v1 against E tier. And now it is a very important awakening draft as Catalyst is up, Built Different is up. I mean, double size awakenings are up. It looks like the Octavia will take the Catalyst. We'll see if they deny double size from the Rasmus, because if Rasmus gets size, it's pretty it's pretty hard to win after that. And Pineapple goes for the Dwin Drive, leaving Bill Big Fish to fall to the Rasmus. Absolutely. And I also got a bit of a correction here. It's Ether, not Ether. My bad. Ether. Have not, they haven't told me their name, so it's all good. It's fine. We're all, we're all good. Uh, honest mistake there. Grabs the prime time and Egoist going to Fem Bison on the Kai. So it is the penultimate matchup here. It's the fourth set. And uh, we're going to see if, if Ozo Bunch can make this a quick series or if we're going to be going to a game five and potentially a third set. Yeah, a, a fifth set and a game three. So true indeed as I is stacking up the... Secondary, Dropletto gets one goal gate. Pineapple, good clear to E tier. E tier wants to get the strike, but can't win the strike when they against the 2v1. I right, guess the clear, Dropletto. Wants to get it forward. Almost kills his teammate with the black hole. Oh my I goodness. Staggering in the midfield, but he won't die Ooh. just yet. The Maelstrom finds the second goal gate. I is still alive. He does lose his speed, but the Giga Blast opens the second goal gate as all goal gates are open. And now I trying to pass it towards Dropletto. R comes out, E tier uh, elusives. Pineapple has the flip. Michael gets destroyed. I just trying to find the passes. Just trying to stack up. Get the orb. Can't find it. And now Dropletto has the flip, but Pineapple gets it forward oh, and nice. Boom is just there to collect. Bison almost had flip too, but had to use the elusive there to avoid the stun from Boom. And uh, it just it results in a goal anyway. Good stuff there from Platinum Exclusive. Let's see how this set is going to be going up at the moment. One goal barrier immediately goes down, as does the black hole. Boom. Aims for it, but great save from Fem Bison. Pineapple with the flip, not going anywhere. Pineapple rockets in, boom, grabs another one, and there's a core flip as well. He might use that here in a second here as well. Drop Leto with the core flip as well, though, no, and it goes right in. Very unfortunate. Boom, not able to keep that forward, and Drop Leto was able to get both goal gates and a very dangerous flip angle. Basically guarantees the goal. There's not much Luna can do when you have a pendulum swing and a uh, Octavia primary coming in. There's basically nothing you can do as a 
Luna as they as Bozo Bunch tie up the set. Beautiful stuff there. Eye on the Octavia. They need to make sure that they grab this Goldberry. They do, but not before. Boom, grabs the Tofu wall. Too many calories in that Tofu. Immediate knockout there, Fem Bison. She grabs this core flip, but it's not enough. Boom, gets the goal here, and it's 2-1 here for Platinum Exclusive. They could equalize right here. Yeah, Boom just tanks that barrage, and again, Platinum Exclusive find a goal. I just need to keep alive here. They're getting punished by this Dubu Ford. Finding a lot more gills than you'd usually expect as Boom goes for another one. Well, it will be elusive. Does have the flip, though. Pineapple flip as well in the midfield. Boom, gets one goal gate. Wants to get the second, but can't. I good clearing art, but Pineapple secures the second. Boom, flips. Can't find the angle. E tier flips, oh. gets the goal. My goodness, Ether doing a great job there on the era, grabbing the set win, and we're at the game five at the moment. Boom, on the Dubu, making all Dubu mains proud, myself included, as the match MVP there. So let's see what they grab first things first here. You got a solid amount of awakenings here. Could go with the timeless, could go with the bulk up, gets the stacks. I like that play. Yeah, he gets the stacks, but Deadeye is denied from the Luna, but he gets specialized training, basically just to pick your poison on that one. As this uh, uh, Octavia will get bulk up a little more health, which is what he probably needs to, uh, what they need probably to survive a bit as Aero grabs heavy impact. It, it's actually pretty good on Aero. Heavy impact isn't picked a lot, but it's actually a lot more power on the core, which matters, and a bit of uh, CDR if you can hit the double. Absolutely, already we've got a KO and a goal barrier down at the moment. Eye on the Octavia, trying to keep this away from the barriers. They're doing a great job at the defense as well with Fem Bison doing great work, but it's only a matter of time before a boom and it's a pineapple grab at this one. Look, oh no! Oh my goodness, Drop Leto trying to get something going there, but immediately gets killed by Omega Boom. The level 10 on there, and it's a pineapple grabs the double KO, and it looks like it's a matter of time, and it is. It's a pineapple grabs the first goal in this set and has two away to tie up this series. <laughs> this is I've never thought I had to say, but Ubu Ford is keeping this game alive for Platinum Exclusive with finding these kills, honestly. The one deer punch is enough, but I get a return kill on the Dubu. Pineapple flips to buy some time. They need to get some goal gates in this 2v3. As E tier actually own gold gates technically, don't worry about it. As Grappletto will secure the second. I just kill a oh, double two! kill for Boom. This dude oh my gosh. is keeping the game alive. Oh my goodness. Somebody got a takeout order for Grubhub from Sundubu Soul. And oh my goodness, the soup is there. I and Droppletto spawn in, but it's too late. Boom and the crew, Platinum Exclusive away. Just one goal away from making this an interesting set. Yeah, an interesting series as well as Blind because of our one game, our one goal off, taking us to a game three as I want to provide some pressure. Pineapple gets one goal, eight flips, gets the second with the help of Boom, and Boom almost has the flip, gets the stun, has the flip, just looking for the angle, gets boosted, misses the flip, it has the NATO, NATO oh. finds a kill on Fem Bison. I gets the clear for the time being, drop Leto and I, they need to save, they need to let their guy respawn. Ball is going a little interesting. Pineapple has a dash, but it's not able to find anything. Ether oh, great roll angle in. hits it in, and Platinum Exclusive take us to a game three. Ether getting that final goal there, 3-0 in game five, and Platinum Exclusive tied this up. We're going into a game three here, Lumos, and uh, we've got a lot to talk about, especially talking about this Luna Goliath right here. It's a pineapple going back from, from forward to the goal, and it makes all the difference here. That makes a lot of the difference, honestly, but <laughs> I think an 8KO Dubu is a little more important as Boom. Oh, yeah. Absolute insane play finds 8KOs in this game. It's not often that your goalie is doing a lot of this damage here. 23K, as you can see, I, they did a great job as well. 3 plus 5 goals, 24K damage for the Bozo Bunch, but it's Platinum Exclusive's entire day at the moment. It's a pineapple. Oh my goodness, what a change of pace from the last game. I really enjoyed seeing them play to their best potential. And boom, on the forward Dubu, I'm pretty sure we're going to see a Dubu ban in this next match. It match. 100% will happen. The Dubu was just too powerful. Yeah, we'll have to see if a Dubu ban does, uh, does come out. But it was 
pretty insane play to boom with that one deep punch. Honestly saved a lot of those points where it was looking a little risky, a little close, but they're able to pull it off in a five game, uh, five set game. And it takes us to a game three. Absolutely. You were saying that uh, there was a bit of something weird going on with It's a Pineapple being on that forward position. They moved back into the goal area, and it all just made all the difference. It all just makes a lot of sense. So uh, do you think that they should stick with that strategy, or what do you think Bozo Bunch should do coming up into this third and ultimate game here? Yeah, I think it's pretty simple. Pineapple's a goalie player. You put him in goalie. It's, it's that simple. You, it's his main role. I, I don't get the angle that they had on... Back on Atlas on Amy's app and it, with them being back on Atlas, we do actually switch perspectives here. Don't worry about it. Spectator tool works 100% of the time. We love we love Odyssey Interactive. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, there needs to be a change in honestly bans here if, if uh, Bozo Bunch want to actually win this game. Boom will likely go the Rasmus here. I mean, we're already seeing them have the Rasmus at the moment. The X it's and the Luna, the Luna are gone. Okay, so the, it's a Pineapple's impactful role there, gone. So we're going to see probably see more of this Dubu as Pineapple is going with the Dubu goalie instead of the Dubu forward. Ether going to grab the Juno here as well. Dubu yeah. coming out. It's a Pineapple. And then Boom probably will grab this Rasmus. Yeah. You uh, here back on the Juno is very interesting. It's his main champion. He's been playing it for three years, honestly. And it's a little... Uh, he, he's good on it, but we'll have to see if it's enough to get through this air at Rasmus. It's a Rasmus copy. Drop Leto versus Boom on Atlas's lab yet again. Platinum Exclusive grabbed the last one this last map on on the same map. Let's see if they can repeat oh, this Catalyst performance there. here. But oh my goodness, did you see those opening awakenings? Amazing stuff there. E tier, Ether, sorry, grabbing the first goal barrier here on this Juno with the hops as well. Eye on the era. Fem Bison again on the Kai. Ooh, it's a pineapple. Pendulum oh! swing. Drop Leto gets both goal gates and no! just strikes it to victory. Drop Leto 1v3, honestly, there to get the first goal. And that's the tough part about playing Dubu in goal. I mean, I know that pain in silver at the moment. Sometimes you just miss those goals and it's okay. It's fine. It's all good. But no problems there. Ether has to keep this away. I grabbing that Maelstrom, half health on Ether, and there's one goal barrier down. Fem Bison making saves, but not enough. That's one goal barrier down for the Bozo Bunch. Bozo Bunch actually has to get this out of here before this black hole spawns here in the next two seconds, and it immediately explodes yet again. Ether has the core flip, but might not live to see it. Has to go for it, and bang! It's off the wall! Ether grabs this one, and it's tied up. It's the demon angle, and it ties the game up. Drapleto again got go both goal gates really well. He's playing around these Dubu rolls, around these Dubu abilities really well, but it was just not enough to actually secure the goal here as Boom gets one goal gate with his flip. Pineapple. Tofu Fortress oh. is denied by Drapleto's flip, and he gets a goal gate. Now they need to get a second as I tries to hit this forward. Drapleto trying to get it past, but they're stacking three on. Maelstrom's coming in from I. Can't be able to find it. Blobs won't find much either, but... Pineapple walks oh. forward with a flip. Ether actually able to secure the goal gate. Now, Boom wants to secure the goal. Can't find the angle. Uh, they're able to get it clear. They're trying to win the strike. Where trying to hit the dribble. Not able to. But they get the ball back. Pineapple just trying to clear. But I is keeping it down in this corner. Maelstrom keeps it down. Drop Plato can't secure the goal gate, though. I again. And Bison walks up. Flips. Not able to find the goal gate. Great defense from Pineapple. As a lot of times, the Tofu Fortress hits it towards Boom. Boom, in the 1v1 oh. against them, Bison finds the goal. Great core war there. All good for Boom. It's 2-1. I mean, to be fair, at the moment, this is not it. This is not the end for Bozo Bunch. They've got two core flips on their side. They can make this work. Uh, the, uh, right now, I has the core flip. He takes down a goal barrier. See what Drop Leto does with this goal, with this core flip as well. Grabbing the goal barrier down as well. Oh, what a lucky bounce. It almost took out two there as well, but it's just going to roll on in. And we're tied up here in set one. Yeah, Drop Leto able to find the death touch. She just hit that in an awkward angle. Pineapple was not able to cover. And it's a 2-2 in the first set. Very close games after the first one. 
but Boom and Pineapple both have flip. There's a very large flip advantage for the side of Platinum exclusive. I right, trying to get it forward, gets it forward. Dropletto forces the flip out of Pineapple. The clear isn't that clean though, and Dropletto can't get it past the Tofu Fortress though. Boom has the core flip. I right, just trying to get it past him, trying to dribble around him. Boom, core flip gets oh, both goals with it. And now wow. we need to get a goal. Great job, Boom, there with that core flip. We're getting a two for one special. Uh, biggie bag from Wendy's, if you will. Uh, amazing stuff there. Uh, at one goal barrier goes down on the side of Platinum Exclusive, but it's Pineapple has to keep up with the Dupu. Almost gets out of position there. Drop Leto super low from that log. Then Bison keeping it cool though she's doing a good job on this goal though and fem bison also has the core flip here will use it immediately to get this out of positioning here one goal barrier goes down and drop leto super low gets the stagger back and oh no there he goes and yeah. boom is gonna have to try to get this in real quick yeah, that was their wing con. Drop Leto with that core flip was their wing con. He's up in four seconds. Boom and the ETR are passing in between. They're trying to find an angle. Nice they finally find it as Fem Bison slightly walks too far away from the net and boom, secures the first set for Platinum Exclusive. That was just a right place, right time move there from Boom. Great stuff. And at, speaking of Boom, Boom is our set MVP. Let's see what they grab here at the beginning of this round. Looking between the Egoist and the Hotshot. Probably going to try to get this away from the other Rasmus on the other end of the court. We'll go for the Egoist here. Very important with the Gatalyst start grabbing even more energy awakenings, especially if they get fired up eventually. But Era gets Chrono Boost, which is very impactful. The Dead Eye had a little more chaos into this game with Haja and the Dubo also doing a similar thing. Perfect form of that guy. Honestly, Platinum Suits have got a lot of good awakenings, and with this Eagleist Catalyst, it's going to be interesting to see how many flips Boom gets. Absolutely. Let's see here. We got the Catalyst all around. It looks like it's going to be an interesting matchup here. Let's see if Bozo Bunch can equalize here in this set. Now, they already have one goal barrier down that make that two. Both Boom and e Ether. Ether, sorry. Oh my goodness, I can't speak today. <laughs> Has to grab this core and bring it to the other side of the court right now. It's a Pineapple doing great work here on the Dubu goalie. Ether and Boom seeing a gap in opportunity. But Fem Bison start, staves them away for now. Drop Leto with the core flip, not before... Now before Pineapple can grab it. Oh my yeah. goodness, this is just a huge strike war. Huge strike war as Boom is walking up with the flip. I right, trying to get past Ether. Uh, trying to just have the strike, but Boom intercepts, gets the goal game with the pendulum swing, has the flip, pops it, and nice. scores it. Great play by Boom. Secures a goal for Platinum exclusive in this set. And I mean, that's just that's just the, the right time to use that core flip. I mean, you're not going to save it in this in that situation you're just gonna grab that goal barrier get it in there great play as well as you said lumos and uh you know one goal barrier already going down here for on the side of bozo bunch's goal here it's a pineapple needs to keep getting tighter and tighter on this uh on this defense here pumpkins come out the tofu spooky tofu if you will coming out for it's a pineapple I trying to make it work. Oh no, and there goes the other goal barrier. I they need to get this out of the other side. Get it, keep it away from the red side of the court. Keep the pressure on Platinum Exclusive. The core flip comes out from Ether. Both goals are open. And then, oh my goodness, a Maelstrom oh. comes out, knocks out. It's a pineapple. And Dropletto drops it in. Yeah, I, with the magical Maelstrom, really secures that for it. Bozo Bunch, they get, it gives him an opportunity to get into this game, but Boom does have Gordon Flip with that Egoist, with that Gattle, he's going to have a lot of these. Not going to use it yet as Dropletto gets one. Fem Bison walking forward, Dropletto gets a second. Fem Bison gets it forward, Dropletto denied by the Tofu Fortress, just barely. Fem Bison has the flip, trying to find it. Boom, almost gets taken out, but just barely alive. Fem Bison flip up to I, I. Almost has a flip, just trying to get it down to drop Leto. Flips to drop Leto, but Pineapple has the clear. Now drop Leto in the 1v1, great oh. angle down, finds it away, and Bozo Bunch just need one more goal to close out this set. Absolutely, Bozo Bunch needs to reclaim the dominance they had in this first map in the series. And I mean, if you were not here, it was a 3-1 victory, but it looked a lot more like a 3-0. It was, it was ugly. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it right now. But right now, Platinum Exclusive doing a great job on this offense, grabbing these two goal barriers. Juno doing a lot of the work here. 
Pineapples keep this away. Good tofu as well. Pineapple and Dropletto both with the core flips. And oh no! Dropletto wastes it. One goal barrier goes down here. I and the core flip comes out from Ether. See you later, I. They're taking a quick break for about nine seconds here. Boom and Ether have to get this in, and they do. Ether on the Juno. Boom with the connector. And we're tied up 2 2. Yeah, Greed Punish finds the kill, and they're able to collapse in the UV. Uh, the 3v2. A Bozo Bunch, they need to secure this goal, but they're low on energy, and boom, he, he generates it a little quicker and is a little more safe with it as I, with this Maelstrom, gets one goal gate. Drop Leto wants to get a second. He just can. Good to clear his E tier. Able to dash through, get one gold gate. I able to save the second though. M Bison. Almost has their flip up. E tier. Can't get it to boom, but boom has no egoist. Trying to walk forward, but he can't get the core in the right place. He can't find Watch an angle out, to get the flip here. Now back, doing more neutral ground. Fem Bison is a forward. Oh, Drop no! Leto, he finds the kill with the death touch. Waste the flip a bit, a bit of a zoning flip for the boys, but they can get this goal gate soon as oh. I, with the core flip, gets a kill. M. Bison walking forward, but he's nice. not needed as I will just hit it in with the bushing beam. Good stuff here from Bozo Bunch. It's a tie game now, just like we had in the last set. I, they get the first MVP, second MVP, my bad, of this matchup. Let's see what they're going to pick here. I mean, you got some pretty good uh, awakenings here. Two Sparks, Heavy Impact, Prize Fighter Twin Drive, a Monumentalist, potentially. Yes, it will go there. And you're going to see these Maelstroms are going to oh. be absolutely huge. Half the size, Category 5 of the arena. Category 5, but now Platinum Exclusive have all three energy awakenings. Now, it's not all in one person, but with <laughs> Ether taking the fire up, they're gonna have a lot of flips with the Gatalus and the Egoist. It's a little interesting to see if the power of all three energy awakenings are enough to overcome the Bozo Bunch. Absolutely. Let's see here, bit of a quick interruption there. Oh no, Ether grabs the KO and he's gonna be out for a little bit. Just a moment there. Boom. Trying to get this back into the red angle here, but I they need to get this back into the blue. Both of these goal barriers are still there. Fen Bison, she's doing a great job as goalie. One goes down though. Hey, it's okay though. You can let one go. It's not the end of the world here. Drop Leto needs to get this through though. Fen Bison two drop Leto. Pineapple with the flip and the core barrier core not core barrier goal barrier gets down there. And another one goes down as well. Ether doing a great job. Oh, no! And Dropletto is down. Fem Bison and I, the only ones left here for Bozo Bunch in the next seven seconds. Yeah, Boom has the flip as the Egoist, but Fem Bison has the clear. Great clear. Buy some time as Dropletto respawns. Boom doesn't have the flip anymore. E Ether has, is a little below, but does grab the flip. Now I, just trying to get it forward, almost scores it. Ether not able to hit it. Boom, trying to find a <laughs> flip of his own, trying to. Regen that energy back up, but I keeps it forward. Fem Bison needs to get it clear. Ether drums forward, drop Leto. Can't find the angle. He's just going back and forth as Boom wants to get an angle. Can't find it again. Just, just can't find these angles. Barely not stopping and drop Leto finally finds the goal with that death touch to hit it up to him and just strike it in. Boom needs to go back to geometry lessons really quick. Can't find these angles at all, acute or obtuse or right. I mean, those are the three angles, correct? Is that is that correct? Uh, I'm not too sure. Technically speaking, yes, those are the three angles if you are based on 90 degrees. But uh, yeah, gotcha. I and Dropletto are going to get one goal gate here as Pineapple uses his goal gate, I mean, his flip and doesn't even save his second goal gate. Dropletto, free oh. flip, strikes it in. Great play from Jeff Leto. Gets basically everything. A free flip for it and gets a goal. Great stuff there from Drop Leto. Amazing plays here. Bozo Bunch looking like they're back in this dominant state that they were in before, but it's Platinum Exclusive's game to lose at the moment. They've already come back and they've already grabbed both of these here and boom! Oh my goodness, a seven second set with that core flip. Keeping them alive so far. A little quick with it, able to find it and find the goal quickly after the flip, which is the most important thing. But I almost has their flip up, trying to get it forward. Idea has his own. Good deny from I. Flips get traded, nothing really goes down, but Dropletto is staggered in the midfield. Needs to find something, but 
Boom. He's looking for the death touch. Elusive is dropped. Drop Leto is low. He's playing very risky here, but he gets a great angle. Gets oh, both no. goal gates. He's not even going to die to Boom, who does have the flip with the Ego Speed. He's not even... He finally he finds him with the death touch. Ben Bison loses one goal gate, loses the second. They're waiting for the respawn, but Boom has the core flip and slots oh. it in between the players oh, of the my Bozo goodness. Bunch. Wow, a Platinum Exclusive is back here. Boom. Doing finally went back to ge uh, uh, geography. Oh my goodness, Ge yeah. geometry <laughs> lessons. Yeah, where where country are we? And I don't know, but we are in a state of confusion right now. It's a two-two game, both tied up here. And uh, Boom's gonna grab this first goal barrier here. V oh, and I'm, see, I told you about these maelstroms. They're gonna be huge, the size of a dinner plate. They're gonna be absolutely amazing in size. Mm. Oh no, and the tofu just does not work for pineapple there. I and Dropletto are in the slot, ready to grab this one from the paint. But good stuff from Ether here to grab those Juno blobs, keep it out, and the core flip from Fem Bison saves the day! Oh my goodness, I could grab oh, this too, no. but it doesn't work out. Oh no, and boom, it could make it happen again. This is so back and forth right now. Both of the, all, all these teams, all these players, do an amazing work at the moment. Ether with the core flip though, but it's shot in by boom. And Platinum Exclusive are one set away from the back street victory to come back against yeah. the Bozo Bunch. I was honestly a couple frames off fame the core flip and actually scoring the goal, but now Platinum Exclusive, they win the set. And they're now only one set off winning when with how game one looked, I did not expect this game three to look like this, let alone to get to game three. Absolutely. Good stuff coming out here. The quick strike, the big fish on the Rasmus, the Rasma. I think Rasmus is the plural. I say Rasmai though, because it sounds funny, you know? I, I think I think yeah. most normal people would call it Rasmai, you know? I, I Rasmai, think if yeah. If you're thinking about it, it it's Rasmai. No, Pegasus is Pegasi, you know? Not Pegasus yeah, it's, is, it's, it's, it's you know? It's canon. Don't worry about it. I, I know the lore guy. Anyway, but uh, there's no lore where we're going out here because we've got a bunch of clones facing off, especially with with Boom and Dropletto in the midfield here. We're only on set four, and they're both already at Omega, or Dropletto's almost at Omega. Gotta give them that there. Two goal barriers already down for the Bozo Bunch. Platinum Exclusive can grab this here. Dropletto in the face of It's a Pineapple. Gets the one goal barrier down here. Fembison, good defense there. Going alongside the Maelstrom. Drop Leto with the flip here is going to use it and is going to absolutely break the ankles of It's a Pineapple. Mom, I know you're in the chat. I know you're allergic. And it uh, looks like Pineapple is a little allergic to that to that goal there. Ugh. Yeah, great cross up from Drop Leto finds the goal, but they need to find a lot more of this to actually come back. They still need to grab a few more sets before they can actually win this game. But they almost finds anything. But the goal gate, I mean, the, goal, the flip doesn't really find a goal gate. Boom, gets one goal gate, has the ego speed, trying to walk up. Trying to find an angle to flip it, but I is defending. Flips it with their own flip. Ooh. Boom, flips. Doesn't actually get the core, but does win the strike one in the end. Ben Bison flips for fun. Bit of a zoning core, oh, no. but it's nothing. And boom, finds the kill with the death touch. I and Ben Bison are able to find the clear, though. Five seconds on their Erasmus. They're just trying to wait for him to respawn. And I, again, they need to find this clear. Ben Bison with the Gale, and keeping it in this corner. It is so close. And Hector just barely can't find the goal gate. Goes past it. It is back in this corner now. Dropletto can't get it past. Back in this corner again. Dropletto can't get it past, and Boom can't get the goal gate. It's just a state of constant agony in that uh, corner. Just hitting back and forth as Boom now has the flip. He's going to actually be oh, found no, out by boom the is death gone. touch though. Very important kill from Dropletto. Has a chance in this two v three. Pineapple forces the flip. Gets a clear. But how to use this flip for it now? Drop Leto wants to get this gold gate, but Boom is now respawned. Passes up to I. I can't find anything again. It's just stuck in this bottom right corner. And the bottom right corner is just gonna have a lot of touches there. But there goes two goal barriers in one strike. Both goals are open. I uses the core flip and bang grabs the second point for the Bozo Bunch. Could get this into a set five. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That the core was in that corner for about 50 seconds in the round. In the last 10 seconds, both goal gates went down, and I was able to score it with a great flip. As now they're trying to coordinate something. Dropletto has the flip, gets one goal gate at there with their own. Or flip can't find anything else. Dropletto trying to get it forward. 
Alright, strikes are going the side of Platinum Exclusive's way though. But Aether is oh, no. found out by the pendulum swing. Boom, almost has the core flip though. He's just trying to dribble it, trying to get that flip up, but I nice bewitching beam finds it around and the goal gate goes down as Fem Bison is a little far forward. There's two flips from the side of Platinum Exclusive that are up. Boom, nice. It's the goal gate. Has the flip. Watch this. Oh Fem no, Bison it goes. the flip, no! What a good flip from Fem Bison. Gets a clear and boom, uses the core flip of his own. Now, Pineapple just uses the core flip to clear and it's not really a clear at all. As Drop Leto gets it back forward, but now, Fem Bison. He just needs support to Drop Leto. It's a little dangerous. Drop Leto has the core flip. Tries to find something. Wants to walk forward. Has the flip. Oh, it's right on the oh. net. Great pendulum swing. Hits three things in. A double kill and a goal for Drop Leto brings us to a set five. Drop Leto on the 4x kill streak, gets the MVP. Absolutely deserved. We're on the second, fifth set of this series and chat. Let's get in the tell me what who you're cheering for, alright? It's either Bozos or Platinums. I mean, you gotta get in the chat right now, get into this. Built different being picked up by Drop Leto at the moment. Tempo swing grabbing grabbed by the era. Good time this creator pick here as well from Pineapple. There's yeah, a prop from the Kai and Stagger Swagger for the Juno. Yeah, the Stagger Swagger, it might make a difference. I, I, it's honestly, Bozo Punch has a little bit of an advantage actually having three Awakenings. The, I mean, the Tempo Swing on I is not going to be that big, but Drop Leno getting size is basically the most important Awakening in that draft. But Boom does actually get the first goal gate. Drop Fortress comes out, keeps it in that corner. If they're trying to get the goal, oh, it goes around the goal gate, just barely. Drop Leno responds to the goal gate on the opposite side. Now, I right, trying to get it past. He's able to defend with the slimes and a nice. great death touch. Hits Fem Bison away from the core. He secures the second goal gate. But now they need to get the goal. Ether does have the core flip. Opposite gets it forward to Boom. Boom. Almost has the flip of his own. Oh, trying to strike almost. it in. Can't get it in. Ether is staggered in the midfield. Red is walking forward. Pineapple has the flip. Gets it past. Gets it to Boom. Boom can't find it, but Ether is oh, taking no, out. Ether, bye. Oh, Pineapple. no. And Drop Leto's gone too. And you're seeing, oh my goodness, you're seeing the impact the air is having, that I is having Ooh. on this game at the moment. Fem Bison with the flip, good flip there. But boom, has a flip of their own, oh, but wastes no. it. Oh no, it just went, just not calculated the same. Did not have the TI-84 up for that one. Ether has to grab this one. Both goals are open and the monsoons come in these tornadoes. Maelstrom's in the mist. Ether though grabs the first goal here and Platinum Exclusive is that much closer to a match win. Wow, very interesting as the blobs make the difference and actually get them at the goal. I mean, the chaos is being added by the Juno as they want, finding these goals in the late stages of the round as Drapleto can't even get that goal gate. Great hold from Pineapple, but I has the angle to get it here. Stops the death touch. What's up from Pineapple? Can't find the clear as the NATO comes in. Drop Leto gets the second goal gate. Flip comes out. Oh, the Fortress no. is defending oh, 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 itself, oh, 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 oh. but they still find the clear angle. Oh my goodness. Drop Leto is I, staggered. Oh. Boom has flip. They still, it's still dangerous. They get it cleared. Boom has the flip, finds the death touch, oh, and finds the kill with that specialized no. training. Now two core flips on the side of Platinum Exclusive. They need to get one of these goal gates in the 2v3, but I is holding it down. Which he even buys even more time. Great dribble forces the core flip. They only get one goal gate in the 2v3 as Drop Leto respawns. Now I trying to get it past. E tier can't find anything. Pineapple though with a dash finds a clear. Flip Go finds flip. the second clear. They don't oh, get the goal goodness. gate. Great defense by I. As the Maelstrom comes in, finds the stagger on E tier and Drop Leto oh, finds no, the kill. Core flip comes out. He's at port, but the Topo Fortress finds the kill and it, it oh, stops it. But Drop Leto finally finds the angle with a great pass from Fem Bison in the back to tie us up in the set. These two teams are making it interesting. They're gonna have a good time tonight, win this set. They're gonna keep us on our toes in the edge of our seats, and that's all that matters. And also, by the way, that that goal clear there with the tofu, I was on the edge of my, sheet, my seat. My entire heart was running so fast, but we already got one goal barrier down here. Bozo Bunch making it work. Ether going in, grabbing this other goal barrier. The goal is open. This could be only a matter of time, but not if Drop Leto has anything to say. Drop Leto has the core flip. We'll use Ooh. it. Grabs the far goal barrier here. Oh my goodness. What great work here from Boom. Boom doing good damage as well on Drop Leto. Drop Leto making it happen. Pineapple has the flip as well. So there's the defensive capability. Right now, Boom doing some damage to Fem Bison, and it doesn't work out. The core flip is not happening. Ether and Pineapple both have a core oh, flip each. Oh no. And there. there goes the, oh, Ether, 
does not use that correctly. Pineapple is the only one that has it. Now, I has one. They both use it at the same time, but it's on the advantage of Pineapple. Oh my goodness, the black hole is down. The overtime is here, and oh my goodness, boom! That is correct. Booms it into the back of the net. And there's all, they're only one goal away from taking this match. Rosa Bunch is is doing a great job holding against the amount of course from the side of Platinum Exclusive, but it's just not enough in the end. They still have to get one more goal here, just even tied up. They just do a 0.5 and set 5 as boom. Can't secure the goal gate. Finally gets it, has the flip, but drop Leto with a flip of his own, gets the goalie on the other side, boom. Trying to get it forward, does get it forward. He still has the flip, makes it dangerous. Oh. Can't oh. get the strike though, great strike. Those a bunch, keep it clear. And they get the goal gate. They need to get just this goal, but oh, boom, no. great kill. And wow. hit there, secures the, goal, the game for Platinum Exclusive. Platinum Exclusive thunders back after a tipsy-turvy toppy game one. They get the next two sets in five matches, and they win their NASA set to one over the Bozo Bunch. Absolutely great stuff there from the dude. But let's take a look at these stats by right here. It's a pineapple is the MVP. 20k damage, 98 saves. Every Dubu in the chat has got to love that one. 32,000, do uh, not dollars. Why am I thinking money? 32,000 damage from Drop Leto. Despite being on the losing side, having the most damage, it's very commendable. Very commendable. It was a very close game, and I mean, Platinum Exclusive were one goal off winning a couple of those times, but it's just not enough as Platinum Exclusive will be taking it, taking them to a good 3 and 1 record in the season. Absolutely good stuff there. 3 1 going to Platinum Exclusive at the moment. Bozo Bunch having to stop at 500 at two and two but hey there's nothing wrong with that some of the best baseball teams actually get to the world series with a 500 record so it's no big deal there um let's wrap this up before we go into our next game here um here lumos uh what are your thoughts uh of platinum exclusive just going back uh and storming back in this in this set I mean, it was pretty close there. The biggest difference, obviously, was taking Pineapple back to the gully roll where he belongs. But the games were still close, both going to set five. It could have gone Bozo Bunch's way if they just played a little better and won a little more. But still, Platinum Exclusive, better on the day. Able to secure this win just barely. We'll have to see what they do with the rest of the season, but it's a good start for them so far. Very good start, and uh, I believe we have like three, four more weeks of NASA action ahead of us. So I mean, there's still a long season to go. It's uh, it's 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 every week, so you're not going to have a whole lot of time to get that working out, though. But I've got to give a comm commendation to Bozo Bunch. They did a great job as well, especially with I doing their best on the forward goals there and the forward rolls. But I'm exclusive. Just the just the talk of the night tonight grabbing their their next win, their three and one record so far, still bowl eligible if you're talking college football uh, tonight as a part of Platinum Exclusive. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. We'll have enough more NASA action coming up next. We've got Demons Academy versus Destroyer, Mega Noob, and it's gonna be me and Lumos on the call again. So we're gonna go to a quick break, grab some water, you know, grab some snacks. Hey, we're on the nightcap, it's the final one. So don't go anywhere. More NASA action is coming to you right after this.